Okay, how to make an your how to make arrow trigger. First step, make passable blocks. You have to you have to select all of this, go to extra and go to the extra options and then press passable. That's just to show you why I made passable is just because it lets you do that and it stops the player even more than the force blocks, so it kinda does make some you know, less passable things. And it just basically resets the player to the to the current Y position, except a little bit buggy. So we need force blocks. Arrow triggers act weird in, with force blocks. It it basically like acts like the normal blocks. Like look at this. Look, watch this. I just do this. The arrow triggers seem to uh, set the force blocks to be like that. And yeah. Up is basically like this to them. Basically, basically it just sets to the normal, to the normal gravity. It's just gonna act like it's a normal gravity thing. So I'm gonna select the force blocks for a moment. And set it to a different layer. Next, we uh, put force blocks over here. Make sure to set it to 1. Yeah. Now you can see that it might work, but sometimes it phases through. Like, like look at this. It's, if it's in a different, if it's in a different, you know, Y position, it might fall off like, like that. So, to make sure that doesn't happen, you have to set up a teleport trigger with no groups IDs with static force of zero, touch trigger and multi trigger activated, ignore X and Y. And with the extra options make it no effect so the teleport trigger effect doesn't happen. We just apply this and a little bit of this. And as you can see it just uh, slides off it just resets the player's velocity. Now to make now to make an upside down version of this you need to make it like like the force blocks need to be upside down. It faces it faces down, not up. Since if it's up then it's gonna drag the player upwards instead of down, making the player kind of stuck. So I need to apply I'm just gonna put ball here, free mode. can see it it's it's working let me just extend it so it kind of looks so it's working better oh wait yeah sometimes it gets stuck so to fix that I might you might need to uh you might need to um move the force blocks a little bit more upward probably make make sure try to find a workaround for it sometimes it doesn't work Sometimes it doesn't, so I reckon I recommend you use this technique when probably probably when this thing doesn't happen. Maybe maybe make it a little bit upwards or make the force stronger. I don't know. I don't know about this workaround yet, so I'm not sure what to do in, in this circumstance. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of buggy, but it might work if you move it a little bit upwards. Just try not to make it. Just try not to make it look like it's not seamless. Do this. Probably a little bit lower. See it. See it works better. Even though it's kind of bumpy, it still works. So yeah, that's basically all you need to do about arrow triggers. There's other techniques that you can use. Like for example, set the player to a current Y position, so it just stays like that. So yeah, that's how to make an arrow trigger, I guess. Yeah. Kind of looks kind of looks buggy sometimes. So yeah, that's all of it. Bye.